Hello everyone, this is the Happy Model Trainer 90, and it's broken. I don't even have any flight footage to show you. I had a half a flight. I didn't press the start button on the DVR, so I got nothing. Again, I am just breaking stuff. You know, I actually had a pretty good flying weekend, but I think this one is one that you especially need to know about. The frame, if you want to buy the kit, that's fine, and actually it's fairly decent value. I kind of wrote down some, some round numbers, and we'll get that to that in a second. It's just this frame is very fragile. I clipped a tree coming around, and actually I didn't even go down, <laughs> but apparently that clipping of the tree was enough to where eventually this this motor gave completely, or this uh, arm gave completely out, and then came off. You can see where this prop then struck this, and this was on the fly back to my landing spot, and then this one also broke. So that frame is, is really, really weak. Now, I think uh, there's a few things to note. One is these motors sound much more smooth than the other motors of similar size that I have have experience with. Unfortunately, because of the limited amount of flight that I had, I can't tell you if they're any more powerful or any better, but they're definitely smoother, and they look better when you look at from the underneath side and the magnets and everything. As far as the kit goes, let's go through some numbers real quick. I figure, and these are, I'm rounding down in each and every one of these. As of tonight, you know, prices on Banggood, they go up, they go down. The flight controller, uh, I rounded it down to $24. The camera and VD VTX, I think, it's the Turbo Wing one, I rounded that down to $17. Uh, the, the Racer Star motors that are kind of like this, these are seven, I can't, you can't hardly see it. It says Happy Model on there. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, I'm getting it on there. Um... It says 706, hopefully you can see that, 15,000 KV. But, so I estimated, you know, if we we're using Racer Star Motors as the example, uh, they are $9 a piece, so we got 36 bucks in motors. Uh, props, these are Ladybird props, they're probably a couple of dollars. And then you've got uh, the buzzer, that's probably a couple bucks, or well, I actually rounded, I put one dollar. Uh, frame, I gave it a zero, because it broke like a feather. And uh, then for the receiver, uh, I put five bucks on that. I, I didn't bother looking it up, it's it's an inexpensive receiver. This is the DSM-X version. And you also need to know that they've picked the wrong one. If you buy this kit, it does not fit between any of the standoffs, any of the ways. So what I did was, and you might be able to see it, I dremeled out these little edges on the standoffs to where it would just fit. And I put heat shrink around it to make sure that it wouldn't uh, short anything else out. And then I just taped it to this arm. I figured it'd be fine. You know, this is a close end model. You shouldn't be going long range with it. 25 milliwatt VTX. This is not the mount that comes with it. The mount that comes with it, um, quite honestly, I, I didn't put that on my little pricing list either. I'll just show you. These are the extra props you get. You do get an instruction sheet here. And the instruction sheet is actually better than the picture they have of this board online. So I'm going to show you that in case you get one of these boards because they just... Those images they have on Banggood are terrible. And I know I'm making all sorts of noise. So there's a Chinese version if you can read that, but I cannot. So let's jump here. So you've got your, your negative and your positive up here for your, your battery lead. And this battery lead also didn't come with it. I chose one of my own. It came with a Micro Low-Z uh, that goes to this battery, which did come with it. Um, they, they simply just tore the label off of this. It's still sticky. It's such a weird kit. And this might be kind of hard to see. Let me move this little guy. So you've got three solder points here on the bottom. That's where your receiver goes. Yeah, I'm not seeing this particular stuff on their product page. Um, and then you've got the... You could plainly see this. Uh, over, well, almost plainly. So you've got your video in, your video out, your 5 volt in your ground from back to front. USB port is on the opposite side. Uh, this does have a boot button. Uh, we can't really see it, I don't think, because it's covered by the camera VTX. Oh, no, it's right here. Boot button. Um, not a half bad kit, not half bad instructions. Um, I, I honestly don't know how it flies, but I will be flying it more. But uh, not on this frame, obviously. I have got a Mira frame from FlexRC that I've been waiting to build. So now that I have this, I can just unscrew it and put it on here, and I think it'll be much more robust. I think this will be better quality carbon fiber, and uh, we'll see how it flies. I, I'm, I'm interested, I'm encouraged by these motors, how quiet they are. I'm hopeful that that yields uh, a smooth flight and, and powerful flight. This reminds me a lot of the brushed micros we used to build back in the day. 
uh, where you had you know your flight controller kind of exposed and sometimes you'd be a little bit elongated and I built this one backwards actually this is the nose but you know once I had it together it's like hey let's go fly but uh, yeah this brings back some fond memories oh let me show you what else comes in the kit just in case you want to know uh, looks like we've got some little uh, double-sided foam tape some rubber some rubber bands it's got this on the frame um, we got a USB charger a prop picker some velcro We've got a little map for our VTX camera 3-in-1. Doesn't quite tell us, but you get the idea. And here's the battery connector, which I did not use. Um, oh, here's the camera mount. This is printed in um, PLA, I believe. I think I think in much of a crash, this is probably going to snap off. And you can see it's not printed very well. It's got lots of stringies. And my prints get like that too, so I shouldn't be so judgy. But you know, when you pay for something, you kind of want it a little bit better. And it comes in a little tidy box like this with the label right on the front. Trainer 1S Brushless FPV Toe Pack. Not two pack, toe pack. Don't know who or what that is. Obviously, they maybe they have two different kits. I didn't realize this, but. Um, I thought they were just 706 kits, but the box has an option for 703, so, um, you know, it is what it is. But I think if you buy one of these, you should get a frame on the way. The only one I can suggest at, this, at the time is uh, get on FlexRC.com's website. Dimitri over there, he's got a bunch of different frames. This one's called the Mira, and I believe it's a 90 as well. Let me check <laughs> with a couple of broken motors. No, actually, the Mira looks a little bit smaller. And this is the mount from the Mira. You can find this on Thingiverse, or you can buy one with your frame if you don't have a 3D printer. And he's got quite an ingenious mount there. I'll give him props for that. I know Dimitri probably won't watch this video, um, but uh, I I asked one night about this, and he's he's got this like hook harness thing, and it's got some angle there. The camera, what is that? 20, maybe even more degrees camera tilt. Anyways, so if you buy this one, and I'm not saying it's any good or not, I don't know yet. Uh, you probably should get yourself another frame on the way, too. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.